Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday here on The Past is Alive. And tonight we are heading back to 1994 and ripping a box of 94 Bowman's Best. And I'm pretty excited to do this. I've never opened a pack of these before. They were pretty premium, uh, higher end packs and cards back in 94. So never really had too many of them. Now, this set is kind of divided up into three sections for the most part. You have the, uh, the blue prospects and rookies, the background there. Um, they're, they're all blue. This is actually the first part of the set, which is 90 cards in that. It's a Billy Wagner, one of the key rookies we're looking for here in this set. And then you have the second part, which is the reddish background. And then also the third part there, the mirror image subset cards, which feature a veteran and a rookie or prospect on the same card in a horizontal design. So pretty excited to do this. The key rookies we're looking for, obviously, Billy Wagner, we mentioned him already. Jorge Posada is another good one, and Edgar Renteria as well. And also, Derek Jeter's second year card could be in here as well. So that would be a nice one to find. And the odds of pulling a refractor out of one of these boxes are one in nine packs. So we should see two of them if you go by the odds. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll see three. And uh, a box of these, generally, if you find them, this one was actually, I bought this off eBay. This is the only one on eBay listed. I don't really come across these too often. About 60 bucks for a box of these, usually between 60 and 70 So without further ado, let's get to ripping. I appreciate you guys for being here. I know it's game one of the World Series. I'm actually keeping track of it on my, on my phone. I don't have cable. So this is the way I do it here. I <laughs> see it's the bottom of the first inning so far and still uh, tied Zero to zero, so I'm going to keep track of that while we're doing the break as well. So hopefully these cards don't stick together. I don't think that they will, based off of the texture of them. But you never know from cards of this era. So 24 packs in this box. And we do have some contestants as well, like always. And the first one up is going to be Jennifer Z. Not sure if she's in here or not. I don't know if they had box toppers in these or not. I guess they didn't in this uh, particular set. But like I said, I've never opened a pack of these before. So very, very curious to dive in. So we have six packs there. And the top left for Jennifer Z. Throw it off to the side. And there's Legion saying, good luck, Jennifer. Thanks for being here, Legion. I appreciate it. Move this back a little bit. And seven cards per pack and one mirror image subset card which features a veteran, could be now Hall of Famer, and prospect or rookie. And hoping we maybe see a Jeter second year. This is a good sign so far. I see a Chipper Jones in the very back here. So a little stickiness, but nothing you can't work with. So there is the blue background Chipper Jones. Very nice. Very nice start to Jennifer's stack here. So you're probably going to see a lot of prospects, stars that uh, didn't make the majors, didn't really pan out at all. So I'm not going to read them all off. Hopefully you can see that. The lighting in this room has been pretty bad lately. So here's our first uh, mirror image subset card here of Bonds and Rondell White. So this is what they're going to look like. You get one per pack. And here's the back of the cards. Very nice overall. Jose Rio. And Roberto Alomar. So sticking a little bit, but nothing too bad at all. Delgado and Alomar in that pack out. Pretty cool. So keep my eye out for a refractor here because of the dim lighting. So first pack, not too bad for Jennifer. There's Dallas F's, his nice looking cards. On a pack two for Jennifer F. Also find a Chan Ho Park rookie card in this set. There's a Wade Boggs, Butler, red background, Boggs red. Sean Green is a decent one as well. It's actually a third year card for Sean Green. And the mirror image card is going to be Travis Fryman and Chipper Jones. So two Chippers back-to-back -back packs. Not too shabby at all. Chipper looks very worried or scared on that card. <laughs> Interesting. There's Andy Van Slyke, Eric's favorite player when we were younger. Um, John Dudmer and Robbie Beckett and that pack out. 
Never seen a refractor in this set, so I'm not sure if it'll be easy to spot right away or what. Hey, Dave M. Off the pack three. See a Roger Cedeno in the back. It was definitely a pretty big prospect back then. Randy Myers, Cecil Fielder, another Robbie Beckett, and hey, El Canon, what's going on? The mirror image card is Ruben Rivera, which is a big, he was a big prospect as well, and Raul Mondesi, who is now a jailbird. Ray McDavid, Jimmy Hurst, and there is the Cedeno. Michael Wetzel says, who is the big rookies? The, the big ones, Billy Wagner, Jorge Posado is, is a really nice one, Edgar Renteria, um, Jeter's second year could be in here. Shanho Park in here as well. But Bowen's best from 94 is really cards and I don't really come across ever. I don't really ever see them. Hey, there's Joe's card corral. Elkanon says, watching the game. Yeah, I'm trying to keep track of my phone there. There's Kenny Lofton. I had that card when I was younger and I was always super obsessed with it. Probably because it was one of the only ones that I had. Ben McDonald. There is a Dante Bichette. Hey, Max. And a mirror image card here is Allrood and Sean Green. Not too bad. Ruben Sierra. Chad Ogia. And then Midre Cummings, who didn't really work out at all whatsoever. I'm trying to go over and double check these, make sure none of these are refractors. It's really hard to tell with how shiny they are. And the lighting in here overall. So, one of nine packs. Are there odds of pulling a refractor? It'd be pretty sick to see a Jeter second year refractor or even any of those rookies we're looking for, like a Wagner, Posada. And there's Tony Gwynn, Tom Glavin. So, nice pack here. Off to a good start. Midre Cummings. And Ripken. It's a nice one. John Carter, Tony Clark. It's actually his rookie card. Hard to tell if he's just stuck together or not. And Roberto Peggin. And one more pack for Jennifer Z. So far, a decent stack, though. Seen some good stars and whatnot. Joe's Card Corral is calling out random pirate prospects from the 90s. Jermaine Allensworth, Midray Cummings. Speaking of random pirates, Moises Alou is on top there. Eddie Murray, red. It's so hard to tell if these are refractors or not. Carlos Delgado, mirror image, John Lieber. Alex Ochoa, and Billy Ashley was a big power hitter there for a few years. Ends out that stack for Jennifer Z, but not too bad at all. Some nice stars and Hall of Famers in there. And moving right along to... Terry F. It's actually Terry F.'s um, first break with us. And I see Houston's already up 2-zip in the top of the second inning. Hey, Jennifer is in here. Hey, Jennifer. Hopefully you're uh, excited about the cards. Pretty decent ones in there. And please check out Jennifer Zimmerman's channel as well. Her channel is growing quickly. Has a lot of card videos and whatnot. And there's our buddy ripping for Ripkins. It says, this is for John pulling the Ripkin card. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, man. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I actually have a package uh, going out to you here probably this week, Tori. I'm not sure if you're going to be home or not to intercept it or not, but uh, yeah, I'll have something heading your way here real soon, man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. And an all route on top here. Roger Clemens. Off to a good start for Terry F., not sure if Terry F's in here or not, but I said first break. And there's a refractor. The first one, it's going to be Marquise Grissom. There is Terry right there. I'm here. Pull me something good and go Nationals. Pogey 223. Well, you got the first refractor, Marquise Grissom. Big, uh, big prospect of the early 90s. Pretty awesome. So maybe we'll see uh, two more of those. Still uh, still nice anyways. I always love refractors, especially early 90s ones. 
pretty awesome. So, so far, so good on that pack. Clemens, Allrude, Refractor. Back-to-back -back Refractors. Holy crap. Javi Lopez and Jorge Basada, first-year card. Wow, that is that is crazy, Terry. Wow. That is some pretty awesome luck there. I've never seen that happen before. Back-to-back -back Refractors. And Jorge Basada's first-year card... He has a, uh, a regular base set card as well in this, but wow, that is pretty freaking awesome. Back-to-back -back refractors. Terry, congr congratulations. That is pretty sick. Wow, I'm, I'm shocked by that. I was not expecting that at all. I'm actually, I'm going to put that Jorge Basada in a one-touch for you because that's a nice one. Jorge and Javi Lopez. Dallas F's is nice card there, Pogi 223. Those are supposed to be one and nine packs, so I wonder if we will. Given the odds, we should always see two of those out of this whole box, but uh, maybe we'll see another one. So, pretty awesome start here, Terry. The top right, Matt Williams. Up next, I think it's. Uh, could be a new bad omen on the channel. Seen like three of this card so far. Wow. What a pack there. I mean, refractors now, I guess. I mean, they're pretty easy to pull out of packs. But back then, not so much. On to pack two for Pogi 223. Pretty crazy to see another refractor come out of here. Mike Smith is now two to one. Els Burks leads it off. Danny Tartable. Another Van Slyke here. Dave Emses Zimmerman just hit a bla a massive blast. There's a Griffey and Johnny Damon. Probably one of the better uh, mirror image cards you can pull out of here. Pretty nice looking card there. Jay Maldonado. And Deshaun Warren ends that pack out. And there's Al Kanan. It says, love this channel. Probably my favorite in the hobby. Thanks for the content and interaction. Trivia question. What's been done more in the MLB? Perfect games or unassisted triple plays? Hey, thanks a lot, Al Kanan. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate that, man. Um, if I had to say, I'd probably say unassisted triple plays. Please check out Al Kanan, too. He's grown his channel really quickly. Last I looked, he was around like 250 subscribers, I want to say. And he's constantly putting content out there and whatnot. Really cool guy, too. I really appreciate you being here, man. And we move on to Mayor Ramirez, uh, mirror image subset card there. Tony Gwynn. Rippy Verrucken says, I didn't realize Ben McDonald lasted through 1994 until I saw his break. Yeah, he, he was definitely still around then. Justin Thompson. Another Matt Williams. And James Mouton. Yeah, El Elkanon does uh, his Pokemon, his baseball cards, his different sports and whatnot. So if you're not subbed to him, please check him out. Help him grow his channel. Elkanon, 23 perfect games. You know, I was going to say that first, but... Lady Dykstra takes the lead there. Galarraga, second. Sierra. Albert Bell and Jimmy Hurst. Tim Balk. And there's Jeter. Nice. The Jeter second year card. Very nice. And all these cards are in the pristine condition, too. I don't see any any uh, rounded off edges or corners or anything like that. It's a pretty nice Jeter there. Second year card. One of the first cards of the set. It's actually number two. So, Pogi, you got two refractors and a Jeter. Pretty awesome luck. Pretty freaking awesome. And there's two packs still left. Hey, Parker Card Breaks. Gene Cuse is how much for the boxes back in the day. You know what? If I had to guess, I don't I don't even know. I'd probably say maybe around a hundred bucks. There are there are some websites. If you would type that in on Google, there are some websites that will 
give you like the uh, retail price of a pack, sometimes of a box back in the year they came out. I don't know if uh, I saw one for this, uh, this set or not. Blake says, anyone know if a complete set of uncut 1990 tops are worth anything? Um, I think they could probably get about a hundred bucks for those. I want to say Eric picked up the entire 90 top set uncut a while back. And I think he looked on eBay and I think one sold on there for like close to a hundred bucks. If I had to guess, can't remember. It was like probably about two months ago. Steve Avery, Bill Pulsifer. It's actually Bill Pulsifer's first year card there. It is the mirror image card. And Rod Henderson ends that pack out. But what a stack so far for Terry. Posada, Refractor, the Jeter second year. Pretty awesome. I want to say, Blake, I want to say he found, I want to say he found the whole set in uncut sheets and it was like around a hundred bucks. Buner leads it off. McDowell, another Clemens here. Final pack, Clemens and Roughcorn. These cards are really nice. It's a shame you don't see them too often anymore. Gary Ingram and Johnny Damon. And that is it for Terry Epple. Yeah, what a stack there. Back-to-back -back refractors. That is freaking awesome. Never seen that before. Jeffrey P. up next. Bottom left. Once again, thank you guys for being here. I know the series is on right now. So I didn't think there'd be too many, too many people in here at all whatsoever. But I'm still keeping track of my phone here. Still 2-1 to one in the second inning. So... Smokey J. 628. That is Jeffrey P. He is in here. Thanks for being here, Jeffrey. Good luck to you. Hopefully we find uh, some nice stuff in here, man. Maybe we'll see another refractor come out of here. That'd be awesome. You play the odds, we really shouldn't find another one, but you never know. Mo Vaughn leading it off. Lance Johnson. There's a Griffey. Have not seen that one yet. And it's a refractor! Whoa! Jeffrey P. That is freaking awesome, man. Wow. Griffey Refractor. Whoa. I cannot believe it. Definitely getting a one touch out for that one. So three refractors now. We still have a full stack left. Wow. Did not expect that at all. That is freaking awesome. Smokey J, congrats, man. Congrats. That is pretty epic. Yeah, I really do not know what that would go for. Somebody check eBay and see. It's got to be pretty valuable. White Obama is on it. Absolute ref <laughs> fire. I couldn't, riffing for reference, I could not help myself, man. I really could not help myself. I just get way too excited. Wow, is that beautiful. Griffey Refractor. Amazing. Congrats, Jeffrey P. That is that is a hell of a card, man. Out of your, what was that, your first pack? Holy crap, man. Unbelievable. So we've now seen three Refractors. Forrest is how much for a box of 94 Bowman? A box of 94 Bowman is usually around 30 bucks. <laughs> Paul L. Chris save a refractor. No. There's McGriff and uh, Brooke. Kijnik. Roughcorn. Chad OJ and uh, Rick Gorecki. Daniel F says PSA 10 around 1000 to 1200 bucks for that Griffey, Jeffrey. Wow. Is that amazing? Absolutely amazing. Take one more look at this because it's so, so beautiful. Corners all look to be sharp. I don't really know about centering, how to judge these. I'm no Bowman's best expert from this year. This is the first time I've ever opened packs of these. So what a beautiful card. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's the very first pack. What Obama's has sold for 200 bucks the last three times. Even that, 200 bucks is 
Still pretty awesome. These stacks of these were $23 shipped to buy into the break. So for 23 bucks to get a Griffey Refractor, pretty awesome. And there is a Ben McDonald, or actually Mike Mussino on top. I haven't seen that one yet. Greg Maddox, pretty nice Hall of Fame pack here. Pocket. Jeffrey P. has some amazing luck. I was being a refractor for a second there. Bayerga, mirror image card. There's Gene Q. It says, no subs or anything. Just enjoy your breaks. Thanks. Hey, Gene Q., thanks a lot, man. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all your support, man. Really glad you guys are hanging out with me tonight during the Game 1 of the World Series. I don't think anyone would be in here at all whatsoever. But Gene Q., I'm not sure if you're planning on starting a channel or not, but please check him out. Give him a sub if you would. Maybe it'll uh, encourage him to start putting some videos out there. Tony Clark, first year, and Frank Rodriguez. Yeah, if you would send that in and get a PSA 10, then yeah, you'd be looking at probably a grand for that Griffey, Jeffrey. Not sure if you send cards in or not, but I personally never do. I, there's maybe a couple cards I may send in someday. Wow, what a what an awesome pool there. That was astounding. Denny Batista. It's a little stickiness, but there's no paper loss whatsoever. Tate Seafried. Can't say that I've ever heard that name in my entire life. Thought that was a refractor for a second. It's a Ripken. Ripping for Ripkins. I know you're still in here. There is a Ripken for you. LaTroy Hawkins. It's actually his rookie card. Paul L. says, send in the Eric Plunk Desert Shield. <laughs> Wilson Alvarez and Ray Lankford. Elkanon says, I just pulled a Charizard and that will sell for over a thousand bucks. It was printed three weeks ago. That's crazy. I don't really know anything about Pokemon, but it seems like there's a big market for it and some a lot of value, actually, from things I've heard and seen. Was there a refractor in here? Oh, there was for a second. I see a big hurt coming up, though. Joe Carter on top. Julio Franco. There is the big hurt card. Is this going to be a refractor here? I see a Delgado. It is not. Delgado, Melvin Neves, and Dave Winfield. And there's <laughs> Gerald Wittesick Jr. again for like the sixth time. And Brian Barber ends that pack out. Oh, what's up that Gerald dude? But seeing too many of his cards tonight, possibly robbing us from another refractor, but Say we have some decent odds to pull another one after seeing three. Wow. Griffey and Posada those are two awesome ones to pull. Klesko, another Dave Winfield. These cards are almost like greasy feeling. Another Maddox there. Nice one. And the mirror image card is going to be Griffey. Griffey and Damon. Nice pair there. Jose Silva. Actually, wait. The card stuck to the... Scott Ruffcorn again. Seen a ton of that card. And it moves on to the last pack for Jeffrey P. But I'm sure Jeffrey P is probably pretty satisfied with that with that Griffey now. Bill Swift leads it off. Albert Bell. Kirk Presley. And Manny Ramirez. I don't think we've seen that one yet. Larry Walker. Should be getting in the Hall of Fame here pretty soon. Ray McDavid and another Kirk Presley. Two Kirk Presleys in the same pack. What gives on that? What an amazing stack, though. I still still can't get over that, Jeff. Wow. Hey, guys, just tuning in now. We did see the Ken Griffey Jr. Refractor come out of the last stack. And before that, we saw the Jorge Posada Refractor mirror image card. What a beautiful, beautiful card. Wow. Sorry if I blew your eardrums out on that one. I just could not uh, contain myself at all. <laughs> Joseph B is in here. I just saw him. Joe Yankee. He has a last stack. I'll be sending you a package out here. Um, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow or the next day, Joe. I got some other stuff to send you in. Some things from the auction and whatnot. I think the next auction I'm going to do is uh, the proceeds are going to go to Commons for Kids. I'm going to start boxing up 
all my commons. They're not all complete commons. There's like some Hall of Famers stuff in there, but nothing too crazy. Throw them in large flat rate boxes. I'm probably going to send them off to uh, commons for kids, and the proceeds that I make from the auction will go towards shipping a bunch of boxes to them. That's what I'm going to do sometime soon. Barry Bonds on top here. It's a good start. Nice looking Bonds there. I haven't seen that one yet tonight. Paul O'Neill. Joe Yankee is obviously a Yankees fan, so I'm sure he probably likes that O'Neill. Joe Carter. Let me refract her for a second. Albert Bell, Jimmy Hurst. And Denny Batista ends that stack off. Dallas Foster says, good luck, Joe Yankee. And he says, love O'Neill. I figured so. Too bad I could have been a refractor for you. Maybe we'll see a G refractor. Something comparable. Marquise Grissom. Saw a refractor that pulled earlier. John Wetland. Justin Thompson. Avery and Paulsifer again. Yeah, it'd be about time to see a Posada, Wagner, or a Renteria. I haven't seen any of those guys yet. John Carter and Jose Rio. Yeah, the three. Actually, there's one stuck to the back. Justin Thompson again. <laughs> There's Ripken for Ripken says, it's a refractor. I fell behind. I fell behind. You pulled another Ripken. I was lagging, so this is for Cal. <laughs> thanks a lot, man. Thanks again, and thanks for being here, man. Yeah, I know I probably blew your ears out when I saw that Griffey, but I just can't contain myself sometimes. I didn't have any idea we pulled a Griffey refractor out of this box. Will Clark, Dalton, Jose Silva, a Matt Williams and Shane Andrews. And there's Stemmer Hits. It says, hey, John, Friday is coming and Stemmer's Hits will be live this weekend with my son. Thanks for what you do. My son and I enjoy it more and more. Hey, thanks a lot, Stemmer's Hits. I really appreciate that, and I appreciate you being here as well. Um, what day are you going to be live? Let us know so we can uh, make sure that we can tune in. Sean Green, Gary Ingram, and Johnny Damon. Um... Not a refractor, but very different looking Damon here. Interesting. Yeah, Stemmer's Hits. Um, if you're not subscribed to them, definitely check them out as well. Putting a lot of card content out there. I'll definitely try to tune into the live stream. Friday night, um, three different shows. I will, I'll try to tune in depending on what time they are. If not, I'll catch a replay. I usually catch your replays. There's Thrill Pack Cards. It says, really enjoy watching your channel, John. Love being part of this community. Hoping to hit 200 this week to unlock next giveaway for three lucky winners. Thank you, Thrill Pack Cards. Please check him out if you have not yet. Definitely a really rad dude. Uh, puts a lot of videos out there as well. Um, and he's, he he's heading to 200 quickly. And then once he gets there, the three lucky people will win. What's, what is the giveaway, Thrill Pack Cards? I'm not sure if you announced it or not. I, mean, I may have missed it. If you want to announce the uh, the giveaway on here, too. There's a Molitor. And a Bagwell. I haven't seen those yet. Max Suzuki rookie card. but I don't. Know. And it's a refractor. A Max Suzuki rookie refractor. Probably not the one that you were hoping for, Joe Yankee. But still cool nonetheless. So we've seen four refractors now out of this box. Sorry that I couldn't uh, couldn't have made it a Derek Jeter for you. If I had magical powers, Joe Yankee, I would transform that into a Derek Jeter in a heartbeat. But still refractor nonetheless. <laughs> Paul Ellis' Max Suzuki was a joke. It's actually his rookie card, but hey, it's a refractor. That is a good attitude to have. That's how I would feel about it, too, if I pulled one for my PC. Mike Piazza is a nice one. Have not seen that one yet. It's a third-year card for him. Greg Jeffries. And there's Renteria. Nice. It's about time one of these rookies showed up. Edgar Renteria, Brian L. Hunter behind him. But uh, nice one here. I've not seen this one yet. Like that one a lot. Throw that in a uh, top loader for you when I send it out. Not sure if you're a Renteria fan or not. Back in the day, but uh, still a nice rookie nonetheless. Especially if you PC rookie cards. There's Stemmer hits again. It says, cracking the 95 over deck Series 2. We were 54 away from 200. So he's getting really close to getting 200 subs. And they break a 95 over deck Series 2. That's pretty awesome. I'm sure there's probably a ton of inserts in there. I can't tell you the last time I ripped a pack of or a box of 95 over deck. It's probably been a long time. 
And there's Austin Farmer, this interesting guest lecturer over to athletes making ridiculous social media posts that make them look bad. Some are not YouTube appropriate, but I was dying. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Austin Farmer. Thank you for being here. I didn't see you pop in though right now. Check out Austin Farmer's channel too as well. Stemmer's Hits. All you guys, please sub to each other. Get some new content to watch. Looks like the uh, just end of the second inning. Two to one, Houston. And Boom Slang's in here as well. It says, yo, John, just picked up some 2019 update blaster boxes. I'm 28 away from my giveaway. Love these cards. Too bad they fade over time. A lot of mine did. Thanks a lot, Boom Slang. Thanks for being here. Please check him out too. 20, 28 subs away from his giveaway. What are you giving away, Boom Slang? If you want to announce that on here. Please check him out. Give him a sub as well. He's getting close to 1,000. I think last time I looked, he was around like 720 subscribers. So Justice leads it off. Greg Jeffries. Larry Walker again. Hey, Chet Hopkins. What's happening, buddy? And there's a Jeter. So we at least found one Jeter for you. Larkin and Jeter. One Hall of Famer and soon-to-be Hall of Famer on the same card together. That's pretty awesome, though. It's too bad it could not be a refractor, but still uh, not too bad at all. Joe Yankee. Boomslang said he is giving away tons of stuff, four sealed boxes of cards and other stuff. That's pretty freaking awesome. 28 away from him doing the giveaways. Please check him out. Artists to Daniel, Chad Roper, and Chad Matola. That leaves us with one... Solo pack left. So I think pretty good stack so far for you, Joe Yankee. That Jeter was pretty awesome. Renteria rookie card. Max Suzuki refractor, which Paul L., I'm sure, is very, very thrilled about. <laughs> Ripping for Rifkin says, my ears can't take on the refractor. Yeah, I never really thought about it. I guess some people will watch, uh, replay my videos on he with headphones on. And um, sh eardrum shattering yells. That was a pretty epic one, though, the Griffey. That was pretty epic. Jeff Montgomery. Dante Bichette. Javi Lopez, Jorge Basada. So another Yankee for you. That's pretty awesome, though, his first year card. Not too bad at all, Joe Yankee. Alomar. Jay Maldonado. And the final card is... John Burke. So not too bad. A Posada and a Jeter for you, Joe Yankee. All around, pretty awesome box, I would say. I would definitely recommend picking up one of these if uh, you guys come across it. Like I said, they should be around like 60 bucks, something like that, which is definitely worth it. A good time to rip these open, especially if you can find uh, some of the hot refractors like we did like uh, earlier. Any of you guys that are tuning in now or tuned in late. Posada, Javi Lopez, Refractor. It's Posada's first year. We, we saw Marquise Grissom Refractor, Max Suzuki, and then the big one is the Ken Griffey Jr. Refractor that was um, in the first pack for Jeffrey P. And then you guys didn't see it earlier. The, the, the one pack was back-to-back -back Refractors, which is pretty crazy. The Posada and the Marquise Grissom. That was insane. There's Patreon Pirates. What's up? Passes alive. Speaking of giveaways, make sure you all get into the 500th giveaway. Closing it tomorrow. Good luck to all in the break. Hey, thanks a lot, Patreon Pirate. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it, man. Please check him out. Give him a sub if you're not subbed him already. And make sure you get over to his channel quickly and get in on the 500 sub giveaway. I know I was watching your live stream earlier. The replay of your live stream earlier, Patreon. But I wasn't able to pop in there due to work. But thanks for being here, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys all for being here. Epic, epic break. Like I said, get yourself a box of these if you see them, if you want to do some ripping and have some fun. And I'll let you guys all get back to the World Series, and I will see you all very, very soon with the G.I. Joe video. Maybe. <laughs> have a great night, guys.